Hey, what is up guys? I'm Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create an easy to build survival house. And this house is perfect for our new Minecraft world. And it also looks great as a starter house. This house has crafting tables, furnaces, bed, and chest. And this makes it great for starting in Minecraft. This build is broken down into six steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Also, this survival house is roughly 9 by 12 blocks wide, and it is 12 blocks tall. And here's a complete list of the materials you need to build the survival house. Also, this entire build project will require a 9 block by 12 block area of spacing, and I marked out a 9 by 12 area with dirt. And you can do the same, that way you know how big the layout is before we start the build. Also, before we start, I'll show you a high speed overview of the construction of the house. That way it'll help give a general idea of the building process. First we'll work on the first floor. Then after the first floor is completed, we can install the second floor. Then after that follows the first level roof. And this roof is made completely out of cobblestone slabs. And the second taller roof is made completely out of cobblestone slabs as well. Then we can move on to the landscaping. And the landscaping includes oak leaves, as well as a shovel. And the shovel will help remove the grass, and it will make it a permanent pathway. Then we can add in the interior. And with every survival house, we're going to need chest, a crafting table, furnaces, and beds. Now let's start the build, and I'll show you step by step how to build this house. Step 1. First let's make the first floor. We'll need 12 oak logs, 87 birch planks, 2 oak doors, and 2 glass panes. At the back left corner of the marked out area, move over and back a space. Then make a 3 tall log column. Then we can move over 6 spaces and make another 3 tall column on the 6 space over and that will leave five empty spaces in between the two columns. Then we can move back six spaces and make another three tall column on the six space back. And that will leave five spaces in between as well. Then we can make another three tall column six spaces back. Then we can fill in between the log columns with birch planks. Then once completed, we can add in a door in the center. Then at the sides of the house, we can add in a window. Move over four spaces and up one. Then repeat on the other side. Also, we can add in a back door, and this one will line up with the one in the front as well. Then we can head inside and replace the grass with birch planks. Step 2. Next let's add in the second floor. We'll need 32 oak logs, 33 birch planks, and 16 oak fence posts. First let's move over a space at the top and make a 4 tall log column. Then 
Then we can move over a space at the front and make a four tall log column. Then we can move over another space on the side and make a four tall column. Then we can repeat one more time, moving over and up four. Then connect the columns at the fourth block up. Then we can add birch planks in between the four top columns. Then we can also add a birch plank up top and one in the back as well. Next, let's add an oak fence post around the outer edge of the newly installed birch planks. Step 3. Next, let's add in the first floor roof. We'll need 60 cobblestone slabs. Add a slab at the side of the house. Then we can make the overhang in the front by adding a slab to the side of the previous one and then also adding one more on top. Then we can continue this pattern up until we are lined up with the doors. Then once we are lined up with the door, we can create this pattern except make it on a decline. Then we can extend the two sides row to the back. Then repeat on the other side, extending the two sides to the back. Then let's make the overhang for the back side of the house. And this overhang will be exactly the same as the front. Step 4. Next is make the roof for the second floor. We'll need 74 cobblestone slabs, 3 cobblestone wall sections, 2 white wool blocks, 2 black, and 2 red wool blocks. First let's add a cobblestone slab to the side of the upper log column. Then we can make this overhang similar to the one below, and extend half a slab up until we are lined up with the oak door below. then descend the pattern. Then let's add the pattern to the back side. Then we can fill in the center with cobblestone slabs. Next, let's add in a flagpole at the top. To do this, we'll need to add an extra slab. Then add three cobblestone wall sections. Then use wool to make the flag. And place the wool in a staggered pattern. And that way it'll look like the flag is blowing in the wind. And you can use any color wool you would like. I'm going to use red, black, and white. However, it's completely up to you.
Step 5. Next, let's work on the landscaping. We'll need 33 oak leaves. Move over to the second space, then add 2 oak leaves. Then move over to the second space on this side, and add 2 more oak leaves. Then we can add an oak leaf on a diagonal. Then add another one on a diagonal over here. Then we can add one more on a diagonal, and one more over here as well. Next, let's use a shovel, and use the shovel to make a dirt path by clearing the grass on top. Then we can wrap around the house with oak leaves. Also, as I'm adding oak leaves, I'm going to remove the dirt outline, as this is just for reference. Step 6. Next, let's add in the ladder to the lookout tower, as well as adding in the interior. We'll need 8 oak logs, 4 ladders, and 1 trap door. First, let's add an oak log column in the center. Then we can add ladders to the side. Then we can continue extending the oak log column up. Then add a trap door here. Then back inside the house, we can add in chest. As well as a crafting table two furnaces, torches for lighting, and two beds. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I would love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys. Want more build tutorials? I have many more playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.